Hey guys, how's it look here from Grape Generation? We've got an extremely exciting tasting. We're bringing you this Wine Wednesday. We're having a special tasting because our friend House here is going up north. He's got a new job yeah. and he won't be here next Wednesday to do the Wine Wednesday tasting. So True. I'm going to have to do that on my own. Luke's going to be by himself. <laughs> He's going to have to drink some wine. Oh no. <laughs> I will find somebody to drink with so I can drink responsibly. Never drink by yourself. It's not a good thing. Yeah. Makes you look weird. Yeah. That's true. So, we have what has been called the best red in Canada of 2010 by Wine Access Magazine. We had the Summa Keys Estate Pinot Noir 2009 Vintage from Howling Bluff Estates in Naramata Bench, British Columbia. I'm really excited about this wine. I've been waiting to drink this one bottle. This one bottle that we managed to get our hands on, I went out the first day it was released and found it, and it sold out in two weeks upon release back in April. So this is kind of something special for us here, and we're really looking forward to this. It's a celebration. All right. Now, if you're going to have Pinot Noir and you can have it with food, certain things you can do. Um, Pinot Noir is actually specifically done in French cooking for certain dishes. If you have a coq au vin, coq au vin is a chicken cooked with red wine. Um, you can have beef bourguignon, it's a beef, for traditional French beef stew cooked with red wine as well. Um, or if you want, you know, simple stuff you can have like, you know, a nice uh, braised duck leg or lamb even. Ooh. Pretty much anything, anything I that has a good the, natural I think the soft flavor. Meat of a duck would go so well with the spin on Yeah, anything that you actually have an, a good already fantastic flavor naturally. You don't really want to over season it, you don't want to spice it up too much, otherwise you're going to kill any flavor from the grape itself. You don't want to do that. Pinot Noir is such an amazing wine, you want to taste it by itself, right? So we're doing things right today. We have the Riedel XL Pinot Noir glass. The XL Pinot Noir glass comes with the lip on the top. The lip is there to make sure that the wine flows to the correct taste buds in your mouth for Pinot Noir. And honestly, I can say this to you guys without even trying this wine, it makes it taste better. I've tried many other Pinot Noirs and even versus a really nice crystal red wine glass and most definitely the Riedel Pinot Noir glass is the best tasting Pinot Noir glass I've ever found. So we also have the Riedel swirl decanter here to make sure that our wine is well decanted beforehand. Unless we uh, didn't have the patience to wait another two years. All right, guys. Now, before we actually taste this thing, when you actually taste a Pinot Noir, there's certain things you want to look for. You want to have those the nice black cherry sort of smell to it. Um, there should be some earthy tones. Uh, if you if there are any spices, depending on how it's a uh, process and such you'll get some things like oak from the oak barrels and some vanilla from the oak barrels as well um, you should in some Pinot Noirs might smell like sassafras or cinnamon just certain things will give it a little bit of character to it right so let's see how this one tastes mm. and smells I definitely smell a uh, strong cherry oh. also as a side note we have been decanting this for about half an hour now so it's gotten some life it's gotten some air into it This wine could be aged probably four years, six years. It would taste amazing. It would, but that would just be a waste of not being able to taste such a great wine. Yeah, we don't have the patience for that yet. Oh gosh, we'll, no. We'll work on it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man, let's see how this tastes. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh my. That's just, <laughs> damn, all I can say. I, I, I can't cry on camera. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you could, but I'll just make fun of you some more. <laughs> wow. Oh. Um, certain Pinot Noirs, they have a great texture when you actually taste it. Um, a lot of people have described it as almost like a velvety silk and liquid silk. It just, it, it caresses your entire palate. You get, oh man. And it's this, yeah. This one, this wine just stays in your mouth. It has such a lasting flavor. It just it doesn't go away. I've still got a I've got a stronger taste now than when I tasted the wine ten seconds ago. Mm. Oh, it's amazing. It's just I can see why it was given 
best red wine in Canada by Wine Access Magazine. It's, yeah, it's got everything. Um, I'm tasting the black cherry. Like, there's a little bit of earth, some earthiness to it. It's little, so smooth. It's yeah. so smooth. It's the smoothest. Uh, I've never tasted such a smooth thing in life. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Dan and Luke. Cheers, guys. If you have a chance, when you hit a Powling Bluff, Thanks one of their other great wines they have there. Say hi to Dan Lou from us. I know they love having everyone in there as much as they can. I mean, they love entertaining people, so. Once again, cheers, man. So guys, happy Wine Wednesday from Luke and House at The Grape Generation. Remember, you can follow us on Facebook, at The Grape Generation. We love the likes. Thanks, guys. The support is great for us. And also on Twitter, at Grape Generation. And also a quick thanks to everybody who are, is subscribing to us right now. Thank you for everything. Don't forget, guys, you can also check out our website at grapegeneration.com and follow us on YouTube. See all our videos on there on our playlist at any point in time. See you guys. Cheers. Happy Wine Wednesday. And congratulations on the Canucks Western Conference Finals. Yeah, that's another great reason to cheer with the next amazing Pinot Noir. All right, guys, don't forget, stay classy and sip responsibly.